Okay, fellas, today we're talking about barricades. On the job, we're gonna have three basic types of barricades. We're gonna have red barricades, we're gonna have yellow barricades, and we're gonna have hard barricades. Let's talk about red barricades. Here we have a red barricade. They obviously put this one up because we have an excavation. It's not a deep excavation, but you could fall off into it. Barricade is 100% complete on all sides, and they have tags on all sides. Red barricade says stop. We do not enter that work area because there's something that is immediately hazardous to us. You're gonna use red barricades for overhead hazards. You're gonna use red barricades for excavations. You're gonna use red barricades if you, we identify a hazard in an area that's immediately dangerous to somebody, we'll red barricade it. We don't want anybody entering a red barricade. Yellow barricades are gonna be used for a work area that doesn't have anything that is immediately dangerous to them, but there are hazards in the area you need to look out for. You need to read the tag on the barricade, whether it's red or yellow, find out what the hazards are. If it's a yellow barricade, get permission from whoever's working in that area before you enter. Red barricade means stay out. If you have a lay down area, or you got material that you could trip over, things like that, you'll use a yellow barricade. If, you're, if you have a fab area set up that's in the middle of, of somewhat congested area, you wanna use a, a yellow barricade because there's nothing necessarily immediately dangerous, but there are hazards in the area, whether it be tripping hazards or you're using grinders or something that, that you're wearing the PPE for, but someone passing by may not. When we're putting up barricades, we wanna make sure that they're 42 inches high. 42 inches is a standard that we use. We don't need to take out a tape measure and make sure it's exactly 42. It needs to be approximately. It should be somewhere around mid-abdomen level. We also need to make sure that we have barricade tags at every side of the barricade. On our barricade tags, we need to have the foreman's name that's responsible for the job. We need to have contact information for the foreman. We need to have the date that the barricade was erected and the duration you plan on having that barricade up. And we also need to have the hazards that the barricade is protecting us from. Hard barricades typically are for deeper excavations, excavations over four foot deep that uh, we actually want to protect, not only, not only mark, but protect people from falling in or equipment from falling in. Once again, thanks for your attention and thank you for doing your part to make this a safe job. Mm -hmm.